So everybody, grab your punch bags if you've got one. Get your bag gloves on if you've got them. If you don't have a punch bag, do not panic. We will do everything in the air. If I can just work out of it. My punch bags work, there we go. Okay, so remember this is a warm up. I know we love to hit these bags, but it's a warm up guys. So we're gonna go at 50% of your normal speed and power, just to get the arms and legs warmed up and moving, so we can now have a good old stretch out. In between, Sam's gonna give us a few little extra things to do, and I'll stretch you off to Sam. Can you give us 60 seconds on the timer, please? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, could you do <laughs> Do you wanna go? Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, let's Thanks, go. Thanks, Sam. So we need a countdown. We're not capable of starting on our own. So hit those bags with good form, good technique, good strong stances, good guards, but not with any speed or power. And as you hit that bag, just breathe. If you're not punching a punch bag, do it all in the air. But move around, use your footwork. Halfway. Keep that guard tight. Remember, a warm up should be done at conversational pace. 15 seconds. <laughs> Okay, every drop down, 10 cat dips in your own time. Don't race through them, slow them down a bit. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay guys, good, back up when you're done. And let's circle those arms for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take them backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Across the body. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Everybody bring your feet together and drop yourself down and try and touch your toes and hold it for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab your ankles and pull down for one. And relax. And two. And relax. And three. And relax. And four. And relax. And five. And relax, put your fingertips on the floor, bend your knees and stick your left leg out to the side. Push your bent knee away from you and slide that straight leg out a little bit deeper and hold it for five and four and three and two and one and change of the side and hold it for five and four and three and two and one, and back to the other side. This time, both feet flat on the floor. Sink down as low as you can, keeping those feet flat. If you can't get them flat, you're going a bit too deep. Five more seconds. Five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and change to the side, and hold it for five, 
and four, and three, and two, and one, and slowly back to the start position. Just bring yourself back up, give those legs a shake out. Okay, we're going to do another round on the back, but it's legs only. 60 seconds, same theme as before, guys. Conversational place, over to you, Sam. Three, two, one, go. So, remember, no speed, no power. We're just going to hit that bag at your own comfortable level. So don't overkick. Certainly don't hit with any speed or power. Not until we've had a proper stretch out. 20 seconds done. And you start to feel those legs relax. Halfway. As you kick this bag, or as you kick the air, let's look at good technique, good stances. 20 seconds left. Good strong guards. Body mechanics. Correct striking tool. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, tie. Okay, good. Move those bags, guys. What's the next one, Sam? 10 V sits. V sits in your own time. Don't blast them out. Do them properly. Let's go. Okay guys, when you've done, jump up. And leg shoulder width. Link those fingers together. Double twists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hands on hips and circles. Ten, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it the other way. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. From that position, legs double shoulder width. All we're gonna do is cross our arms over and try and get those elbows to the floor and hold it for five seconds. Five, and four. Try and sink down a little bit lower. Three, and two, and one. And grab your ankles. From that position, we're gonna pull our head through our legs. Try and look up at the ceiling for one. And relax. And two. And relax. And three. And relax. And four. And relax. And five. Excuse me. <laughs> and relax. Put your hands over to your right foot. Pull your chest down to your right, to your left leg. Sorry, left leg, left foot for one. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Two. And three. And four. And five. Over to your other side. And pull down for one. And two. And three. And four, and five. Okay, slowly walk those legs back up. Give them a little shake off, get your back gloves back on again. We're gonna do another round of hands and legs for 60 seconds. Okay guys, are we ready? Sam, give us 60 seconds on the stopwatch, please. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. So, the legs will be a little bit stretched off, but still we're warming up, so don't go mad. 
Don't kick too fast. Don't kick too hard. And the same with the punches. Just get those limbs moving. Exercise, Sam. Ten diamond jumps. Okay, now watch. Everybody blasts through these and does them too fast. It's a slower movement. So from here, look, my arms come down, I jump one, and I take my time here. Three, four, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, guys, good. When you've done, we're gonna go back into that double shoulder width spread. And from there, hands on the floor. Slide your legs out. Get those legs out as wide as you can get them. And hold it. 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Take a step forward with your hands, bring your chest to the floor, stay low, and push backwards. So you come back up onto your heels, and hold it. And then we're gonna go forwards again, chest to the floor, stay low, push backwards. And come back up onto your heels, we do this one last time, guys. Forwards, chest to the floor, stay low, push back. And as you push back, try and sit down if you can. If you can't, then just stand up and then sit down and re-stretch. From that position, put your hands right up against your bum. And we're gonna push the hips forwards for 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your right hand in front, left hand behind, lift yourself up off the floor, slide your body forwards, sit back down again, and put your hands back underneath as before for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand in front, right hand behind, lift yourself up, slide yourself a little bit deeper into the stretch. Take a seat, hands go back behind. And hold it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Put your hands in the front. Walk your hands forwards for 10 seconds, bringing that chest to the floor. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, slowly back up. Take your hands behind your body, walk them backwards. Let the legs come in nice and slowly. Give them a bit of a wiggle and a wobble. And last stretch, guys, butterfly stretch. Gonna bring those feet in together. And we push down with our elbows for one. Try and get those knees to the floor. And two, and three, and four, and five. Okay guys, bring those legs in, give them a squeeze and a hug. Let's do one last round, Sam, 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 hands, 30 legs and 30 hands and legs. Yeah, and then, and then that'll be the last round. Yeah. Okay, right then. Guys, keep gloves back on again. So this time we're gonna do 30 seconds of hands only. We can pick the pace up a little bit now. And then 30 seconds of legs only when Sam shouts. 
and 30 seconds of hands and legs. Are you ready, Sam? I'm ready. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Hands only. Don't confuse me, Sam. Okay, we'll stick with the lead leg. Lead leg kick, Sam. Okay. And we're going to do it. It's a bicycle action jump. Is that what you said? Yeah, round kick. Okay, so bicycle action jump now. What stance do we always start a bicycle action jump from, guys? The answer, for those of you that don't know, is a front stance. It's a bicycle action. So the back leg comes up first. And then we jump and turn and kick, we're turning into it. So let's do it together. Front stance, back leg comes up to this position. Then we jump and turn and round kick, go. Land into the kick, so we land it with follow through. Be careful if you're kicking a punch bag. Back out, front stance, check that back foot guys. Guard at 12 o'clock. Back knee comes up, we jump and turn. Kick it into the bag, and back, last one together. Front stance, back leg comes up, we jump and kick, and we turn into it. Okay, let's do five to my count. Keep up with the pace, are you ready? And one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back. And four, and back, and five, and back. Okay, now change legs. Change legs, guys. Let's try it off the other side. For those of you that are grading on Monday and Tuesday, we're really off both sides. Are you ready? And one, and back, and two, and back. And three, and back, and four, and back, and five, 
and relax. Okay, so grab some water. While you do, remember there are two points within a technique that the guard needs to be present. Where are they? What are those two points, guys? I'll give you a few seconds to remember. Calves, you got it, dude. Calves, bang on. At the start and at the end, it's the template that applies to all the colored grades. So, guard in place at the start. Doesn't matter what happens in between. As long as, once you've kicked, that guard's back in place again. That's the template. Okay, Sam, what's the next one? Okay, well, I was going to stay with purple belt yep. and go over the combo. Okay. So, it's jab cross. Yeah. Left cover, right cover. Yeah. Hook, hook. Yeah. Rear elbow, spinning back fist. Okay, right. Let's do it. So, fighting stance. Remember, we're starting with a jab cross, so we know it's a front stance. We know a front stance at advanced level needs to have the back heel off the floor. Guard at 12 o'clock. So we're gonna go jab cross, one, two. Then we're gonna do a left cover, one, right cover, two. What was the next move? Um, hook, hook. Left hook, right hook. Rear elbow. Reverse it, rear elbow. Spinning back fist. Stand sideways, hands come together, and we back fist. And we step back through to a front stance. Let's do it together one more time. Front facing stance. We're gonna go jab cross, one, two. Then we go left cover. Look how I turn. So I cover my head, grab the back of the neck. Right cover. That leads us into a left hook, right hook. We rewind, remember the guard position for the elbow. Strike with the elbow strike. Then we're gonna step across. Hands come together. Back fist strike. Step back into our front stance. One more time together. Are you ready? Front stance, check that back heel. Jab cross, one, two. Cover, cover, one, two. Hook, hook, one, two. Wind up and chamber, elbow, step, guard and strike. Okay, and back into a stance. Let's do five of them, are you ready? One, shh, 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 shh. And back. Good. Two. And back. Three. And back. Four. And back. And five. And back. Change legs. Okay, slow it down a bit if you need to. Ready? One, jab cross, cover, cover, hook, hook, elbow strike, and a spinning back fist. And back. Two, jab cross, cover, cover, hook, hook, elbow strike, and a spinning back fist. And back. Three. And back. Four. And back. And five. And back. Okay, guys, good. Grab some water. Let's let that absorb. Okay, next one, Sam. Is it absorbed? Is it absorbed? <laughs> okay, we're going to go to the blue stripe belt now, and we're going to do some rear leg spinning front kicks. Ed Nutman, this one's for you. <laughs> and Ryan's on as well. And Ryan. Um, I think Ed's frozen or he's just doing a big serious oh, pose. Yeah, no, he might have frozen. Um, five per side. Okay, well, which one is it? The rear leg spinning front kick. Okay, so everybody start thinking about everything. Back leg kicks, spinning front kick. 
So straight away we know a few things. It's a spinning kick. So what stance should we start in, guys? If it's a spinning kick, that golden rule dictates every spinning kick starts in a side stance. Back leg kicks. Watch, we spin from here. That back leg comes up. As I cross that center line, I strike out with the front kick. Step back into my side stance. Let's do it together. So side stance, guard, 12 o'clock, three o'clock here. Everybody, spin, chamber, kick, land, reset. If you're going for your black belt, I want to see a little bit of movement with this, a little bit of coverage on that hop. And again Ed, from here. Ed's back. Ed, this is for you. Ed, we're doing a blue strike one, one, the one you requested. <laughs> so here, look. We spin, leg comes up, guard tight, we hop and front kick, step back into our guard. Remember, as we spin, that guard changes, it transitions. So right hand at the back. Spin, right hand at the front, kick, land, and step back through. Let's do five together. Are you ready? One, back, and two, back, and three, and four, and five, Okay, good. Change legs. Right leg in front. And again, one. And back. And two. And back. And three. And back. And four. And back. Last one. Five. And back. Okay, guys, give those legs a shake out. Left one, Sam. Um, sorry, can I just ask? Someone's just joined Galaxy A51. I've just asked them to change their name, but they might oh, okay. see a message. Okay, guys, listen. If you've just joined us as Galaxy A51 with no camera, you need to change your name so we know who you are, and you need to put your camera on so we can see and recognise you. You've got 10 seconds to do it. Otherwise, but, Sam will put you in the waiting room. Otherwise, you'll be on Sam's naughty list. Ten, nine, eight. Oh. It's gone. No, it's there. Oh, there it is. Is that um, Quilekin? Okay, Quilekin, you are safe, dude. Thank you. Um, okay, right. So let's do um, a control thing. Okay. Exercise. Okay. So let's do squats. Okay. Three seconds down, up, three seconds down, or down and up. Okay, so we're gonna do 10 squats to my count in stages with a three second descent and a three second ascent. So are you ready? Legs just wide and shoulders. And three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, 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 five more. Three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, two more. Three, two, one, hold it. Three, two, one, three, two, one, hold it. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds. Put your hands on your head, everyone. 30 seconds. Here we go. Oh, go. <laughs> I've got the clock there, don't I? Oh, have you? Oh, okay. That's five seconds gone. Everybody, make sure you can lift your toes off the floor. That's 15 seconds left. 
10 seconds, stay down guys. And five seconds, four, three, two, one, and back up guys. Give those legs a shake out, grab a drink of water. Well done guys. Okay, okay, we're gonna go to the green belt syllabus. We're going to do step forward, jab cross, lead elbow. Okay. So potentially an easy one for us all, but let's remember that template. We're gonna step. So if stepping forwards, what leg moves first? Everybody have a think. It's a jab cross. Was it jab cross elbow? Step forwards, jab cross, lead elbow. Okay, so it's a jab cross. So we're going to be in a front stance, that back foot, heel off the floor. So watch, we step first, then we jab cross, lead elbow. And then we step back, back leg moves first, front leg follows. Okay, remember our template, whichever direction you're moving, that's the leg that moves first. Let's do it together, front stance. Move number one, step, lead rear. Jab, cross, elbow, step, step. And again together, step, one, two. Jab, cross, elbow, step back, one, two. Last time together, step, left, right. Jab, cross, elbow. And then back, left, right. Okay, let's do 10 of them. Are you ready? Five off each side. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Change legs. And one. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Get those arms to shake out. Okay, good. What's the next one, Sam? Okay, back to the blue stripe. Step through, spinning side kick. Step through. Lead leg. So, so think it through, guys. Step through. What stance are we always in for step through? What should it be? Front one. Thank you, Ben. Front stance. We're going to step through. Lead leg. What was it, Sam? Lead leg side uh, kick. Step through, spinning side kick, lead leg. Okay, so lead leg kicks. That's the leg that's in front now. Step through into a side stance. Spin and side kick and land the leg in front, and then step back into your stance again. So good strong front stance, back foot, heel off the floor. Move number one, let's do it together. Back foot steps into a side stance, guard changes. Then we're gonna spin, side kick, land sideways, the guard changes, look. And then we step back into our front stance. And again together. Front stance, guard at 12 o'clock. Back leg steps into a side stance, guard changes luck. Then we spin round and side kick, land in a side stance, the guard changes again. Then we step back and the guard changes again. Okay, let's do them together five times. One, two, Three, four, and five, and back. Okay, change legs. And again, ready? One, and back. Two, and back. Three, and back, four, and back, and five, and back. Okay guys, good. Get yourself some water. Let's give, a, give us a few seconds for that to sink in, Sam. Okay. Okay. Next one. 
Right, we're going to go to the purple stripe and we're going to go over the combo. Okay. So, it's a jab cross, yeah. a rear front kick, yeah. and then a step through, jump spinning back kick. Okay, right, this is the one. This one will catch you out. So remember the rules, remember the template. So let's do it together. Front facing stance because it's a jab cross. Back foot, heel off the floor. We do a jab cross. One, two. Back leg front kick. Three. Step through. Jumping back kick. And then we come back to our front stance again. So whatever leg lands in front at the end of that single technique, the next technique takes on whatever form you're in. So, one more time. Jab cross, one, two. Back leg front kick, kick. So my new front leg is my right leg. I step through and jump and back kick. Don't do this one on the bags, guys. One, because you won't have enough room, but two, because it makes it easy when you do the back kick. Let's do it in the air. Okay, and together. One, and back. Don't forget the guard changes. So remember, that rule with the guard applies to each individual technique. So this combination is made up of four techniques. That guard needs to be in place at the start and end of each of those four techniques, not at the start and the end of the combination. So two, jab cross, front kick, land kick, guard up, and back again. So that guard needs to be in place at least eight times. Three, and back, and four, And back, and five. And back, change legs. Right leg in front. One. And back, and two. And back, and three. And back, and four, and back, and five, and relax. Let's give us a second, Sam. Okay. Ha. Okay. We're going to do some speed exercises. Oh, I love speed exercises. <laughs> We're going to go for push-up pulses. Okay. So we all know this. 30 seconds. As many as you can do. Push-up pulses. Over to you, Sam. Everyone ready? Yeah. Push-up position. In three, two, one, go. Ten seconds gone. Halfway. Ten seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Time. Ha! Good. Okay. Okay. Twenty minutes left, guys. So listen, here's the thing. Can you put the chat on? Oh, if there's on, anything, on, I think. if there's anything that you particularly want to cover, type it up on the screen so we can go through it with you. So we've got pretty much through the whole syllabus. Sophia's just pegged it to the camera. Don't not Sophia though. Can you block her? <laughs> Anybody else except Sophia? <laughs> okay, write it up, guys. And then Sam will do the next combination and then she'll take into consideration what you've just asked. Um, oh, jumping rear crescent kicks. There okay. There you go, Sophia. Got you. Okay. 
So uh, what so grade? Belt you're, belt. you're brown stripe, aren't you? Are you brown stripe, Sophia? I think she's white belt. Yeah, so, um, so jumping rear crescent kick. So we've got... Pop-up back leg. I think she means we've got the jumping outside crescent kick rear leg pop-up or jumping inside crescent kick rear leg pop-up. Uh, okay, so... So outside and inside, inside yeah. rear leg and pop-up. Yeah. Okay, right, let's do the back leg outside crescent kick pop-up style first. It's an awkward kick. So everybody follow me through with it. We're going to start in a front stance. Make sure your legs aren't too long. So bring that stance up a little bit. That'll, get, that'll help massively. This is a really good tip for you. So shorten that stance. From here, I'm going to jump in the air with both legs. My back leg's going to fire through. Do a crescent kick and land in front here. This way. Strike in with the outside part of the foot. So let's do it together. Front stance, shorter stance, soft knees, one big jump, power through with the hip, outside crescent kick, step back into a front stance again. And again together, shorten the stance, guard at 12 o'clock, soft knees, one big jump, land in front, step back. Okay, let's do five of them. Are you ready? And one, and back, and two, and back, and three, and back, and four, and back, and five, and back. Was it the one inside, Crescent Kick? Um, yes. So, okay. Yeah, rear leg and pop up. Inside. Okay, right. Same again, but with the inside leg. But let's do it off the other side. Chain stance. So, opposite leg in front. Front facing stance. Soft knees. One big jump. Kick. Follow through with the kick. So it lands across the body. Okay, are you ready? And one. And jump back. And two. And jump back. And three. And back. And four. And back. And five. And back. Okay. Get yourself a drink, guys. So. Any more requests? Any more requests? Not Sophia. <laughs> um, no, I think everyone else is clearly perfect. <laughs> or I do such a good job. Yeah, I don't think anyone else is putting any requests up. Okay. Okay, so those were from Brown Stripe. Let's go over. Have we done. Oh, we did the purple belt combo, didn't we, earlier? Yeah, I think so. Oh, let's do... Uh, any green belts on? No, no, Lily, what's Lily doing? Lily? Where's Lily? No, no, she's messing about. Oh, right. Mark, give her a slap. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a green belt combo, because I think this is a tricky one. Okay. Lead round kick, jab cross, rear elbow, rear knee strike, shove, rear round kick with follow through. All right, this is a good one to understand how sometimes those rules don't apply. So first move, round kick. Everybody show me the stance. Guard up, rear hand, 12 o'clock, lead hand in between one o'clock and two o'clock, look here, because we're at an angle. So first move together, skip up, round kick, land in a front stance. Guard at 12 o'clock now. Back heel off the floor. Jab cross. What was it, jab cross? Uh, rear elbow. Jab cross, rear elbow. Rear knee strike. Knee strike, so remember guys, we simulate the catch of the back of the neck, shoulder. Knee strike, and then we land that knee back. We don't normally do it, but we do it for this one. Then we shove with the forearm to knock them back. Back leg does a swallow kick here. All the way around, so the round kick with a follow through movement, slicing down. 
Let's do it together again. Front step, angle stance. Round kick. One. Land in the front stance. Jab cross. Wind up. Elbow. Catch, catch. Knee strike with elbow cover. Shove away. Kick. And back round again. One more time together. Angled stance. Round kick. One. Land in the front stance. Check that back heel. Guard at 12 o'clock. Jab cross. Wind up. Bow and arrow movement. Strike. Catch, catch. Knee and elbow cover. Shove. And kick. Okay. Let's do it. Do it together. Make sure you get all those elements in place. Keep those guards tight and everything with good form. Let's, let's get some energy. Okay, so, angle stance, guard tight. One. And back. And two. And back. And three. And back. And four. And back. And five. Okay. Take a breather, guys. Everybody got it? Yes, Justin. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> okay. Any more requests? Don't forget, you're going to need it off both sides. Both sides. So make sure you know it. Like the back of your hand. Repetition. 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 That's the key. Okay. Next one, Sam. Okay, we're going to do a blue strike combo, which is jab cross, rear evasion, double hook, lead evasion, double uppercut. Okay, it's a good one. It's a good one because it's a tricky one. So, front facing stance, let's do it together. Jab cross, one, two. We're going to simulate an evasion off the rear hand. So we roll circular, right to left. Hooking punch one, hooking punch two. We evade the other way. Left to right and we send the uppercut from the evasion. And uppercut again. So Ryan just requested something. Yeah, that's right. And again guys, together. Jab cross. Evasion into double hook. Evasion into a double uppercut. Now when we isolate those hooking punches and uppercuts, you now see how they work in combination with the wind up first. Bit awkward when you're just isolating them, but in combination that, that, that wind up makes sense. And again, jab cross, evasion, hook, hook, evasion, uppercut, uppercut. And again, jab cross, evasion, hook, hook, evasion, Uppercut, uppercut. Keep the guard tight as you roll. Two more times. And one more. Okay, guys, good. Everybody got it? Okay, what were the requests, Sam? Okay, so, I feel Ryan, like a DJ. Pardon? I feel like a DJ. <laughs> so, Ryan's requested rear leg front kick, land leg back spinning, oh is that lead leg, yeah. back spinning front kick, do you know what he means? So rear leg front kick, yeah got it, okay so everybody watch, just get oh, up they're all so coming really. out now aren't See? they? No, you started Seven minutes coming. left, <laughs> you started coming, okay watch, so back leg front kick, so we know it's a front kick so it's got to be a front stance, it's a back leg kick but in the description of the combination it tells you to land that leg back, so everything changes. So we do a back leg front kick, and we're gonna land the leg back into a spinning front kick. So, back leg front kick, one, land it back, and we turn 
into a side stance. Um, it, it doesn't say what leg you're kicking with Ryan, so I'm going to suggest we use the lead leg, we spin and we kick here, and then we reset. Let's do it together. So, side, uh, sorry, front stance, back leg front kick, kick, land back into a side stance, spin and kick, and then come back into a front stance. And again, front kick. One, land it back, switch to a side stance. Spin, front kick, and land back again. And again, front stance. Back leg front kick. One, land it back, side stance. Spin, kick, land, and reset. One more time. Let's do it. One, kick, and spin. The key thing with those spin and front kicks is not to overspin. So you've got to control the spin so the kick is the most effective it can be. If I don't control that spin, as I spin here, I'm going to end up kicking over there. The target's in front. Uh, Sophia, lead jumping crescent kicks. Uh, yeah, I can. Just be a bit more specific. Is it a lead leg um, bicycle action or pop up that you want? And Marco, back fist. Spinning back fist. Okay, let me do that one. Sophia, let me know which, which leg you want, unless you mean both styles. Okay, so, got it, thank you. So, back fist strike. Angled stance in an advanced gradient for a back fist. Guard tight, one to two o'clock lead hand, 12 o'clock rear hand. So first move, lean and back fist into it here. Retract the hands to here. Turn sideways, spin, strike, and step back. And again, angled stance. Back fist here with projection. Bring it back to this position. Step into a side stance. Spin, back fist, step back through. Let's do it together again. Here, lead hand with projection. Let's see how I lean into it here. One, I right, bring the arms back. To here, stepping into the side stance, spin, strike, and step back again here. And again, back fist, one, two, three, and four. One more time, one, two, three, and four. So I hit here, and the arm comes back, I start my spin. So I move forwards with it, watch. I go one, two, three, so I'm moving forwards with each combination, with each technique. Okay, Marco, that's okay. Sophia, lead leg, bicycle action, jumping crescent kick, all together. It's a, it's a bicycle action jump, so we know the stance, don't we guys? What stance is it? Bicycle action jump, what stance should it be? Front stance, thank you Ben. Back leg comes up, then I'm gonna jump, Twisting my hip outwards here. So I jump up, kick, land that leg through, reset. And again, bicycle action. Back leg comes up, I jump, kick, land that leg in front, and step back. And again, back leg comes up, I jump, kick, land the leg in front, and step back. Let's do three of them. One. <sighs> And back. And two. And back. And three. And back. Okay. Uh, that's it. Anything yeah. else? And no more requests? Okay. I think so. Do you want to do the cool down thing? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, then, guys. So, listen, if nobody else needs to see anything, then we'll just cool the class, we'll just cool ourselves down a little bit. So, drink of water, Sambo, over to you. Okay, we're gonna do uh, some shadow sparring just to cool down. So, one minute of hands only, at whatever percent you wanna do. Yeah, so one minute of hands only, 80%. Sam's gonna shout out some random hand combinations or hand techniques, and we've gotta put them in as fast as we can. 
So as you're moving around, if Sam shouts jab, we throw the jab as quick as we can. Let's get your brain moving a little bit. Let's get you thinking about it. I get my brain moving. Uh, you just got to read the sheet. No, it okay. doesn't say that on the cool down. <laughs> okay. Make it up as I go. All right, let's go. One minute. <laughs>
Jab, cross, hook, uppercut, axe kick. Halfway, 30 seconds left. One. Jab, front kick. 20 seconds left. Two. Jab, cross, round kick. 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and tie. Okay, last one. And then you've just got your Cobra Child's Pose. Okay, guys. Everybody lay down on your fronts. Spin your belts round. And from this position, we're going to put our hands by our chest. Turn your feet over onto the insteps and you're going to push your body up, try to keep the ceiling, keep your hips on the floor, hold it and relax back down and then come back and stretch off this way and hold it, two and one and forwards back to the chai, the cobra pose, up Hold it. And relax. Back to a child's pose. And hold it. Last one. Back to Cobra. And back to child's pose. And hold it. Hold it. And relax, guys. Everybody slowly come back up to standing. Find that head rush as you step up. Grab a quick mouthful of water. Okay, so guys, great class, everyone. So very quickly, just before you all disappear, that's it. We are done with our grading prep. It doesn't matter what colour belt you are or what kicks and punches you're doing. If you can just take the templates from every technique and apply it to every new technique, you'll never get it wrong. Even in big, confusing combinations. Once you understand the templates, and by that I mean what stance we start in, where the guard is, how we move, where we land the leg, which leg becomes the front leg, which leg becomes the back leg. All those are what we call the templates. Those are the basic moves and foundations. And as long as you can apply that template to every combination, you'll never make a mistake. You'll always get it right. So it doesn't matter whether that was way, way, way above your belt grade today, the principle is still the same. So keep that in the back of your mind. So Monday and Tuesday are gradings. If you've registered to grade teenagers and adults, then I will see you Monday at Ascot at 7.30, Brightwell on Tuesday at 7.30, and Windsor on Tuesday at 7.45. Get down five minutes before the grading starts so that you don't turn up late. If you walk in late, you'll miss it. Don't forget you've got to have the right belt colour and your full blaze uniform in order to take part. If you've not put your name down to grade, then don't come because there's nothing else happening on those two nights, guys. So don't turn up thinking there's going to be normal classes. Tomorrow night's class is our last one. And I've made it super special. It's a beginner stroke, intermediate stroke, advanced level fitness, cardio conditioning. It was one of my favorite classes in the last lockdown and I've brought it out for tomorrow night to finish on a high. So if you are of an advanced level and you wouldn't normally do the beginner classes, don't miss tomorrow's class, guys. It's going to be awesome. I will see you at 7 o'clock. In the meantime, have a fantastic evening. And I look forward to seeing you back in class on Thursday. We'll finish it there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you.